doing, drummers? Really? That's great. I'm doing great too. Here's why. Today, in our drum lesson, we are going to learn about two really cool musical ideas. What are they? The first musical idea is accelerando. Let me say that again. It's Italian and it's a lot of fun to say. Accelerando. The second thing we're going to learn about are triplets. No, we're not talking about three kids that were born on the same day. We're talking about musical triplets. I'll explain what that is coming up. But first, let's talk about the rhythm that we're going to learn and how accelerando applies to that rhythm. All right, let's start breaking down this rhythm. The first part we're going to do are beats one through three. They'll take place on the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. It's going to be a steady rock pattern, and it's going to have the hi-hat playing on eighth notes. Let's start with the kick. One, two, three, watch. All right, now you join with me. One, two, three, join. Again, one, two, three, join. One, two, three. Now let's go over to the hi-hat. Hi-hat is going to play eighth notes, or TT. As the kick drum plays one, the hi-hat plays two. First three beats. Please watch. One, two, three, watch. I'll slow it down, but join with me. One and two and three and join. Now that's beats one through three. Time for the snare drum. Snare drum is going to come in on beat number two, and it's actually the only time it's going to play in this rhythm. Watch. One and two and three and watch. Listen again. One and two and three and watch. All right, join with me. I'll slow it down. One and two and three and join. One more time. One and two and three and join. All right. Now it's time to talk about beat four and the toms. The toms are going to be played within the scope of one single beat, and we've got to get all of them. I'm going to start with my left hand on this tom, right hand on these two. Please watch. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Notice it's on beat four. Again, watch. One, two, three. I'm going to put the whole thing together. Slowly watch. One and two and three and four and. Watch again. One and two and three and four and. Join with me now. One and two and three and four and. Let's do it again. One and two and three and four and. Now we're going to do it two times in a row, but please pay attention to the fact that you've got to get from here to here before beat one begins. There's no slowing down the beat between the tom and the hi-hat. All right, just watch. One and two and three and four and. Notice, I did not delay between the tom and the hi-hat. You can't do this. 
that space of time between here and here, not allowed, illegal, nada, forget about it. Get from here to here without breaking tempo. Watch again. Okay, now I'm gonna play it one time with you at a slow tempo, two times through, and then I want you to practice it. Stop the video and get it right. But let's do it together one last time. One and two and three and four and. Hey, Mr. Rue, you did that three times. I know. Sorry about that. Okay, now that you're going to take time to get this rhythm right, let's talk about what it means to do an accelerando of this rhythm. Well, now let's talk about accelerando. Accelerando is a musical word that means to slowly get faster. Maybe you've heard the word accelerando before in a more English version, accelerate. An accelerator is on a car, down at the floorboard, where there are two pedals. One of those is the brake, and the other pedal, that's the accelerator. Now, of course, the accelerator makes the car go fast. But when you think about it, a car does not go from zero miles an hour to 60 miles an hour like that. That's not possible. It has to go from a stopping slowly getting faster and working its way up to 60 miles an hour. And that's the same idea with accelerando. Accelerando is a slow speeding up of the song from one tempo to another. Let's talk about how this drum rhythm will apply with accelerando. All right, here we are. We're going to start out slow and then slowly speed up. A slow tempo, gradually working ourselves up to a fast tempo. I want you just to watch to see how this goes. You don't have to play along right now. I'll play it five times. And in the span of those five times I'm playing through this, I will go from this rhythm, or at least this tempo, working myself up to this tempo. Right? Five times from a slow tempo to a fast tempo and in between we gradually get faster and faster. Here we go starting with measure number one. One and two and three and four. If you need to, go back and watch that again. Then practice your accelerando until you can get it between two tempos in five times around, or we call it five measures. All right, now, which part of this whole rhythm are triplets? Well, first, let's talk about what triplets are, then come back to show you where the triplets take place. All right. Now it's time to talk about triplets. Triplets, in a musical sense, is taking a place in a song, usually pretty small, no more than a beat or two, taking that single beat or that two-beat section of a song, and instead of where there would be two sounds, the music squeezes in a third. And then those three sounds are evenly placed. Where once there were two sounds, there are now three squished in that same small space. Now, which part of this rhythm are the triplets? It's the tom section of this. The first three beats of our rhythm are over on the hi-hat and the snare. But the fourth beat that's where the toms fit in. 
And the toms, well, there's three of them. And we have to get those three toms into the space of that one beat. Back at the hi-hat, in beat one, I'm playing it two times. In beat two, I'm playing the hi-hat two times. In beat three, I'm playing the hi-hat two times. In all of those times I'm playing it, it's even. Listen to the kick and the hi-hat alone. One, two, three, four. Listen again. One, two, three, four. Now, if I were to have two toms, I could play those two toms in the same way that I played the hi-hat. Two sounds in that fourth beat. Listen. One, two, three, four. evenly spaced sounds inside of that fourth beat. But I have three toms. So now I have to hit all three of them inside of that fourth beat without slowing the tempo down. Listen to this now. That's the triplet. One and two and three and triplet. One and two Let's have you say the same thing that I just said while you drum the rhythm. No snare drum yet, just hi-hat and toms. All right, let's play the triplets through right in this area here. The snare drum, hi-hat, and kick, they play the duple part of this pattern through beats one to three. But then the triplet takes place right down here. Please watch. One and two and three and triple it. One and two and three and triple it. One and two and three and triple it. Right here, that's the triplet. Three evenly spaced sounds where in this rhythm take place inside of one beat. One beat. Now, for those of you who want to take it just a little step further, I'm going to add a crash cymbal hit on beat one. Now this isn't going to add anything to the rhythm. It's simply going to take the place of the first hi-hat kick. Now I'm going to play it two times through. The first time, I'm not going to hit the crash. I'm going to stick with the hi-hat. But then I'm going to play it one more time. And you'll see that instead of playing the hi-hat with the kick, I'm going to play the crash with the kick. Please watch. One and two and three and triple it. One and two and three and triple it. One and two and three and watch. One and two and three and triple it. One and two and three and triple it. Watch. Triplet. One and two and. Now that's tricky for some of you. One and two and. Watch my hand and footwork. One and two and. Do you notice? I play kick and crash, hi-hat alone, all three together, hi-hat alone, kick and crash, hi-hat alone, all three, hi-hat alone, kick and crash, hi-hat alone, all three, hi-hat alone. That's an accelerometer right there, isn't it? Hey, maybe you want to try that one too. Isn't it 
great to be a drummer? All right, everybody. This has been a great lesson. We got to learn about accelerando and triplets, two really cool musical ideas that drummers really love to put into what they do. So you have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And until next time we meet, keep on practicing this and we'll see you soon.